Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Beach Bounce Remastered. In the last episode, we chose Yuki to be our girlfriend. And then we had nap time together. Yay! And now we are at the hot springs. You thought it would be a good idea after a day of calls and work to just relax in the hot spring. Wow, I actually didn't um, know there was more to this. I thought there was just like an ending um, where we, you know, we got the bad endings. And yeah, I didn't know there was more. This is kind of odd. All right. You should have left your phone behind, though. Yeah, you, you shouldn't, you know, bring your phone into the water. I don't think that's good for you and the phone. I don't care about your excuses. You didn't even turn up to the funeral. Oh, yeah. Our dad didn't turn up at the funeral. I have no idea why. His mother died. And so why wouldn't he turn up for his mother? That's weird. Oh. I had work. I couldn't make uh... Of course you had work. Of course you couldn't make it. Oh. Oh, actually talking to our dad. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. His voice goes silent, and you wait. Of all things, he he would miss his mother's funeral. Really? For for work. That's the excuse. That's that's some bullshit excuse. Have you run out of terrible excuses yet? Do I have to believe your own mother didn't warn you she was sick? Yeah. She warned me, but it was unex unexpected? Since when have you ever been caught unprepared? Really? Your mother's in the hospital, and oh no, she she's already sick, and you don't visit her? And then her death was unexpected. Rip. Really? Really? Death is unexpected, huh? Hmm. The day my son disappointed me and quit law school because it was too hard. Law school is hard. I don't doubt that. And just because I, I mean, I quit, I mean, it's... it's what? Do you want me to fail out instead? Because instead of quitting? I mean, there's a difference there. I mean, that's wasting more time into something that's tough for me and, you know, I'm not you, okay? Too hard? I run a resort now. I quit because I didn't want to end up like you. Ooh. You hang up, wrapping an icy shell around your thoughts. Oh. Oh, hello, Yuki. I didn't uh, see you there. I take it he responded. Yes, he did. And just making up a lot, of, a lot more excuses. And then bringing up something that is... Totally not what we had in the discussion, which was about Tomo. I don't know. That's another excuse. It went about as well as I expected. Yeah. You look up from your phone as you switch it off. Yuki stands there in a bikini, looking concerned. Wait, in a bikini? That's not a bikini. That's the beach bounce uniform. Well, that's improving my mood at least. What? That's... What? What is? Yuki smiles at you and slips into the water, leaning against you. Actually, wearing swimming shorts this time? Uh, I, I, I cannot be wearing swimming shorts right now at this time. I surprise even myself sometimes. She turns up at you, staring into your eyes. Her glasses are fogging up in the spring, and you slip them off. Is it like a private, um, private, uh, hot springs? I mean, can people just walk in, though? She sneaks you a kiss on the lips before settling back again. You two don't like each other, it seems. Nope, nope, nope. I think when it comes to being an only son in a family, you hate your father or you love them. Well, it really depends on uh, how, you know, the father treats you. He's still your father. Has he ever said he hates you? I mean, it's not always about 
saying it, it's about the actions. You ponder for a moment and shake your head. You know, actions, you know, show more than, you know, just actually saying it. No, only the usual disappointment spiel. That's probably because he wants the best for you. Yeah, except, you know, I know what's best for me. I mean, sure, other people might know what's better or what's the best, but you, you're the only person that knows what's best for you. People can assume what's best for you. Please, don't take his side, Yuki. She snorts softly and pokes your side. It's not about taking sides, your family. That is true, but sometimes when... Uh, uh, there, there, there are times, Yuki, there are times where, where you can't really rely on that. Some things, go, some things just go too far at times. He lost his mother, and the son he disowned is at her next day funeral after inheriting her life's work. Okay. You sigh and close your eyes. Maybe you're right, but it doesn't change that he can't say a single damn nice thing to me. Yeah, see? When, 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 when uh, your parents or your family don't say nice thing to you at a, at a young age, you will always remember that. You will always remember the bad things that always happen around that family member or members, and you can never shake that off, ever. Even though, I mean, you can try and maybe eventually just, you know, accept it, but th that thought always comes back. Yuki snuggles into you, nodding. Well, we appreciate you, Tomo. You're doing well. Yeah, I am doing well now. I mean, except if I sleep with other girls, you would just kill me and kick me out. You know, or both. I'd be screwed without you, though. She grins and nods. Hey. Hey. Oh, absolutely. Hey. Oh, what the heck? Where are we? Aren't we a little underdressed for this, Tomo? What, are we in our bathing suits still? You shrug, looking down at yourself. Dark shirt and jeans. Wait, where are we anyways? We're paying to eat. I wouldn't worry. Plus, you look lovely. Oh, are these one of those romance fancy restaurants? He pouts and glances away. I mean, these places just give you like small portions, right? I mean, I would not come here. Unless I was like, filthy rich. Like millions and millions of dollars. Already. Oh, oh, give me that steak. That steak looks delicious. I mean, it looks like the size of a quarter. But oh, oh how much is it? Oh, $500, you say? Oh, here you go. It's just chump change. Yeah, see? See? I, I just can't deal with that. I don't want no quarter-sized steak. Flattery will get you nowhere. Well, he got somewhere with you. I think a lovely dinner will get me somewhere, though. Ooh, Tomoyo knows where to go. She snickers and nods. Oh, and he was right. You better believe it. Whoa. Where are we? This is her room? No wonder her room's filthy. Quote, unquote, filthy. Look at all, look at those panties, those bras. What the heck? Is that a sunny, sunny D there in the back? I don't know. What else is there to look at? Hmm. Nope, just lots of clothes and lingerie everywhere and bags. Whoa, hello there, bunny girl. Ooh, was that the outfit you, um, you, you were wearing? Ooh, hello. Uh, holy crap! She poses in the material strains, hugging her curves. Yeah, definitely. Aw, do you approve? What did I buy for you at that uh, dinner? Did, did I buy you lots of stuff you liked? I brain won't work good. Brain dead. She crossed forward and lets out a little whining noise. 
I've been good, right? Oh, you've been a good bunny. Yeah, yeah, yes, but very, very good. Yo. Then doesn't a good bunny get lots of pettings? Pet petting? Ooh, oh. Yeah, yes, no, yes. She moves even closer. Two more. Ooh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Beach Bounce Remastered where Wow. We uh saw the cosplay outfit for for Yuki there. If you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye! Tomo, are you okay? No, I've been drinking too many energy drinks and I am all wired up to do lots of things with you.